Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is that you're joining me for this video. Thanks once again for clicking on a Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review Channel video. Today, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick unboxing of a pen that was sent to me by my good friend, Carrie Yeager, AKA Mr. Fountain Pen Day, over at Kenro Industries. What they sent to me was a Y Studio Classic Portable Fountain Pen. Now, they initially sent me a portable fountain pen as well as a desk fountain pen, that's this one right here and they're both classic. I'm not sure which one is made of what, meaning one of these bad boys is made of brass, the other one is made of copper, and we're gonna find out. But before I get started, I just wanna give a big shout out and thanks to Carrie Yeager, Brian Holser, and Ryan Dangerously over at Kenro Industries for sending me this stuff. This right here is one of these things. Thanks for sending me, you know, whatever this is. They threw this in the box, so I'm gonna make sure to do something with that. But thank you for sending me that also. I'm gonna figure out what it is and I'm gonna eventually use it once I figure out what it is. Definitely gonna take pictures. This is the box, I have not opened it yet. I wanted to do an unboxing video for you guys. On the back, it just tells you what you got. It's in a very nice, well put together, folded plastic wrapping. It's not shrink wrapped. So it says to me that the brand cares a lot about presentation. It's almost like iPhone-ish, right? When you get an iPhone for the first time. So there's the tape. It's actually taped shut. Whoever had the job of packing this did a very good job. Now we gotta peel this part off. Yeah, it's definitely like getting an iPhone for the first time, only this is not an iPhone. Actually, this is cooler than an iPhone because an iPhone expires after a couple of years. Software makes it break down. All the porn that you watch screws up the phone. So the plastic comes off. Like I said, it's not shrink wrapped, all, all craggly and creepily. Now this is a box, it's a nice cardboard box. It says on the front, Weight of the Worlds, Portable Fountain Pen Classic Y Studio. Weight of the Worlds, I'm not sure what that means. Who knows? I don't know what they're thinking. What are you guys talking about? Whatever. And we open up the top here just like that. Then we have the box, ooh, that's nice, look at that. So this box comes off. And then we have inside a black box, the black box. Look at that. It looks very samurai-ish. It's very cool. And there's some Japanese writing. I'm, I'm guessing that says Y Studio. You open up the lid just like that and you have paperwork with the same Japanese writing. Now talking about how much they care about presentation, this little booklet I'm noticing right now, it's like they have Japanese writing throughout every page. It's like the Ghost of Tsushima, if you guys played that on PlayStation 4. And just very good attention to detail, especially, <laughs> I'm really impressed. If you look at the binding, it's actually stitched. And I think that's a really good concept. Now this is just instructions from what it looks like, ink recommendations. I don't know, it's probably gonna tell you that you have to use their inks only, otherwise you're gonna die in a ditch. Who knows? I don't know. Or it's just instructions on how to use it. I don't think they actually make ink. All right. Okay, so what we're looking at is a pen. The pen is copper. Gorgeous. Very nice. I can't wait to do a review on it. Looks like it's a snap cap. I like it. it says Y Studio on it. Now, this is a copper pen. It will patina over time. And it comes, some, comes with some bondage straps. Look at that. Now, these bondage straps are not for kinky business. What they are for is for this puppy over here. I think I messed up taking it out because I'm going to have to use brute force or turn the whole thing upside down. It comes with this tube. It looks like a little flashlight, but it is not a flashlight, so don't use it as a light source. It unscrews, and basically what happens is this. You're gonna stick that in there. You're gonna use the little bondage straps. You're gonna tie it in a way that is very secure because you don't wanna screw that up. And then you can carry your pen around attached to your school bag, backpack, your belt, your neck. I don't recommend that because somebody could just yank on it and strangle you out with it. But that's the pen. Now, this is not a review. The review will be coming soon. You got your converter inside. I wonder if it comes with ink cartridges. I'm actually very impressed. This is my first time opening up this pen box. Let's see if there's anything under here. And there's nothing else under there. Presentation is rather nice. It's a decent looking packaging. A lot of thought went into it, a lot of anal retentiveness, and as you guys know, when it comes to details, I'm a stickler. 
So I do appreciate the level of anal retentive detail that they paid to this. Now, I got to figure out how to tie some of those crafty knots that are impossible to break because if I'm going to be dangling this from any apparatus, school bag or whatnot, I want to make sure it doesn't fall apart. But kudos to the attention to detail when it comes to packing. I got to do some research on this pen because as of right now, I'm not entirely certain what kind of nib. It looks like a Schmidt nib, but we're going to have to go into some detail and figure out what it is that all the components are made of. I know the whole pen is made in Japan. I want to make sure, yep, that looks, that's definitely a Schmidt nib based on my experience as a fountain pen reviewer, nerd, pen enthusiast, fountain pen virus infected. So there you have it. This is the unboxing of the Y Studio Classic Portable Fountain Pen. Thanks again to Kenro Industries for providing this pen for review at a discount. I actually paid for it, so guess what? I'm keeping it. And stay tuned. Love you guys. Be well, be safe.